Hi everyone and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Jamie and this one is finally get to do some more wild camping. Well then, welcome back everyone. So finally I am back out wild camping and I am in my hammock. Surprise, surprise eh? Uh, so I'll go into why I've been missing from your screens for a bit, uh, a little bit later on in the video. But for now, let's get set up and wait for English Woodsman.
Right, welcome back everyone. So where have I been? Where have I been indeed? Um, so I've not been on YouTube for a while. Uh, those of you that are regular followers and have tuned back in, thank you so, so much uh, for clicking on the video and all the little messages of support asking where I've been. Um, I am ignoring you intentionally. Uh, I've just not had the opportunity. Um, those of you that know personally or those of you that have watched the channel in the past will know that my father-in-law passed away in February um, and it's taken its toll on my wife without a doubt um, it's really really affected her mental health and she's got a stressful job anyway um, so it's, she's uh, she's been struggling and she's needed me at home more um, so obviously I had to put my hobbies on the back burner um, but you know we've been working through things uh, together sort of working on her mental health working on my mental health because um, it's been Oscar's on Oscar's birthday as well just a couple of weeks ago and so that's obviously been playing on both of his minds as well so we're just going to have to get over these few hurdles and then come back uh, so yeah if you are a regular subscriber and you, you've tuned back in awesome thank you but that's where I've been I've been at home where I belong with the wife uh, helping her through her issues with mental health and uh, how she's been struggling she's been helping me with with mine uh, it's a long road but we you know we've, we're driving down this road together now so we're almost there <laughs> um, so yeah that's basically where I've been obviously we've been doing a lot in scouting as well I've actually had uh, Danielle who's my wife out camping now for four nights she's done uh, two nights in a hammock and two nights in a tent uh, both on scouty camps just to see which one she preferred um, I'm gonna guess a hammock <laughs> she's not admitting it but I'm gonna guess a hammock we'll see we'll see so you may see her on a future video or two uh, but yeah let's uh, let's crack on with it thanks right for those of you that are interested this is the uh, gear segment of the video uh, if you're not interested you can skip to this time or wherever I flash it on the screen skip to this time to skip about me talking about all my gear uh, but for those that are interested let's get into it uh, so I carried it all in today in my snug pack endurance which I've modified myself and I've just got my wife to do a little bit more for me uh, so if you're familiar with this backpack you'll know that it doesn't come with a key keeper on the inside and if you can see on there uh, and now I have a little key keeper on there, courtesy of Danielle. She's done a little bit, sorry. Just a nice, simple tab key keeper. We have uh, modified that. I've got some Wii Sport Raccoon pockets on the sides. I've uh, got my fire kit in a Viper Tactical sort of rip pouch. I've got a Possibles pouch on this side. And again, another Wii Sport Raccoon pocket. And then the best cook set on YouTube attached to the backpack here as well. Uh, I'll leave links to all the uh, bits of gear that I've got uh, in the description box below and obviously you can go and check out the videos of this bag and the cook set and all the pouches uh, in the playlist that I'll leave in the description as well let's move on to the hammock so the hammock itself is just a nice and simple uh, hammock pick this one up uh, from Aliexpress and it's very similar to the Yelangezu one uh, the one that I've done on my own so the bespoke hammock and this is Bespoke Hammock Mark II or Oscar Outdoors Hammock Mark II. So as you can see black and orange is a bit of a theme running throughout it. So the hammock itself is just uh, nice black. It's got a bug net that's removable and droppable. Uh, that I can stow in a little pocket on the far end of it there. Uh, I've attached some cords on the inside zips so that I can close the zips whilst I'm laid down. And then I'll show you a little bit more detail but this is an undercut that I've picked up. I can't remember the, the name of it. Uh, King Shoden. Again, uh, Amazon. But what I've done is I've gone down and then cam snapped in sort of various places, just the undercoat on. If you see Mark 1, I did stitch it on and then I've obviously found that there's, there's more faults to be done with sewing. So I've tried it this way, so I've done some cam snaps on there. Uh, I've had further and further ideas. The quilt I'll show you in a second. We yeah, have the undercut clips on into the structural ridge line here as well. 
and then just snugly fits around and obviously detaches for when I want to go and wash it. So that's the hammock itself. Uh, the under quilt again, the black and orange theme, if you can see on there, sort of an orange sort of inner. That again, I can just detach, go and wash, get sorted. Um, all the hammock tips are on my channel on a different playlist, uh, but I'll show you a couple while we're going round. So this is uh, one of my little tips, so just a little bungee ball cord coming off the hammock and under quilt, clipping into a carabiner for a little guy line, just to sort of spread your hammock wide, give you that little bit more space inside, but yeah, a little bungee cord and a little carabiner off to a guy line. So moving on to ridge line, you can see here is my sort of DIY uh, phone holder that I've created after looking up the uh, ridge line phone holders on there. It's just on a couple of prussics and you can just move it to where you want in the hammock. Uh, next up is the Phoenix CL26R, uh, a nice compact durable camping lantern, perfect. Uh, and then this is a new little gadget that I've had for a few months. This is the flex tail gear. Uh, mosquito repeller now I've used it for a couple of months it took me a while to get used to it and then realize that it doesn't actually have a battery in the unit so it's got to be constantly powered um, by a power bank which you've seen in there this is the a jigger or jiger or whatever from Amazon that power bank that's just on the inside of the ridgeline organizer that you can see here but yeah that's uh, it's worked a little treat because I've been on a couple of scout camps and not been attacked where other people have been on the same camp same sort of place where I was, not too far from where I was camping, I've been attacked and you know savaged by them six foot mosquitoes. So this has really sort of worked out well. But I'll bring you a review video of that in the future. Uh, so moving a bit further down the ridge line, you can see inside here are my Gravastar P9 uh, headphones. And then just a little bit further down, see if I can show you this. This is my uh, new wallet and I'm really sort of impressed with this wallet. So yeah, I'll show you the headphones first. So here's the headphones, the P9 Gravastars. Bluetooth, sort of wireless headphones. And then next is my wallet from the Ridge. Just nice and simple. You know, a few cards in there, bank card and whatnot. Everything you just carry simple with you. Uh, got a little money clip on the back as well, but I don't tend to carry much cash anymore since Covid, so these are uh, ideal, nice little wallets. So yeah, that's the bridge line. Let's uh, move up now and see what's above us. So just above us is probably my favourite tarp at the moment, the One Wind tarp, and it's inside a snakeskin. Now I've never used a snakeskin, but I do like the idea of them, and the snakeskin from One Wind as well actually once it's all sort of coiled up like this still does fit in the tarp bag uh, so i'm just going to show you uh, how we use it basically so your tarp here is connected and you just take your snake skin and just sort of keep moving down oh, under the drawstring first even yeah and then just keep moving down and your tarp should just sort of drop out and flop out so it's like a quick deploy There you go, your tarp is out, dropped over your hammock if you do get sort of inclement weather and then you can just sort of quickly peg it out, pin it out and uh, and deal with any rain you may get. And then I'm just going to move the camera back a little bit and show me putting it away.
as you can see putting it away with just mere seconds the last little bit that you saw me struggling with was just a little guy lines now if i coiled them up uh, before putting them in the snakes in that would have been a lot easier uh, but i didn't i just left them loose and pulled it on that's what i was struggling with they were just sort of snagging on the hammock and whatnot but yeah that's uh, all the gear that i'm here with tonight uh do you know what i think it might be time for a brew Well, the kettle boiled and I missed it because I was busy doing an Instagram post. But cheers, let's have a brew. Still a bit hot just yet. But while we're doing that as well, guess who turned up? You can't see him at a minute. But that pile of gear there belongs to none other than English Woodsman. So he'll be back very, very shortly, as will I. Earlier we were talking about all the gear that I'm using and I think I forgot to mention the, the new quilt that I picked up. So this is Puffer Wolf, just like a down sort of quilt. You can create into like a, a poncho using some little uh, cam snaps and things like that. And now my idea is with this is I'm going to start cam snapping it down the inside and outside so that when I put it away it can be all being in one place and sort of the way that I want it. Um, but obviously when I'm in the hammock I can just detach it and just have it thrown over me and keep me warm that way but yeah that's the, the new quilt again the black and orange themes come back <laughs> so yeah that's that well I'm just chilling in my hammock now for 10 minutes or so while I have this brew uh, and then I think it'll be time to start cooking I'll show you what I've got in a bit right well then time to start cooking now uh, so, tonight I'm going to be using a new pan that I've picked up. Uh, just from Lidl, to be honest. Look how shiny that is, nice and new and shiny. But the reason I got it is, if you've watched my channel for a while, you realise that I've killed Old Faithful by melting the handle. And this is a detachable handle. So sort it of goes on. And then pull the trigger and you've got yourself a nice little handle. We're a free pan set. But yeah, that's what I'm cooking in tonight. Quick release as well, so. But why not give it a bash? So tonight I'm cooking some chicken steaks. Seasoned up there. But I've got my cook set with me, so I'm going to add to it. Uh, and then a bit of onion. A bit of mini cucumber and some cherry tomatoes. So add some salad to it with uh, some pilau rice. So, let's get to it. So this is sort of like the backstage of what's going on when you see it on the camera of what you're seeing. You know when you watch the videos, you sort of see like this camera view. Well this is like the stage view. <laughs> <laughs> Director's cut. <laughs> Director's area. You normally don't see you know stuff like this 
playing around and things like that. It's always focused on what you're doing, liking a bit. people. Do you reckon we're done? I do. And what do we reckon to that, people? I'm just going to uh, use my new little cutlery set as well that my wife happened to stumble across in the uh, local I don't know, Aladdin's Cave shop, sort of pound shop type thing. Got that knife, fork, dessert spoon, and a teaspoon. I keep it all in this like little pouch. Right, I'm going to go enjoy this. I've just come over sitting here, Dan, while I'm sitting here at this. Uh, I haven't shown you Dan yet in this video, so I'll show you 
very shortly, but I'm going to uh, sit and enjoy this while Dan's cooking. So I'll uh, see you in a bit. Got all the beautiful juices around the edge. Mm. You know what? Sometimes you don't have to do a lot to do enough. Did I say that right, Scott? Just about, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you don't, you don't always have to go overboard. Yeah, you don't have to do too much to make it right, let's say. This has been very easy. Keep really it, has. Keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple, but nice meal. Gonna be enough to keep me going most at night. Hmm. Like I say, if this sort of cooking stuff interests you and you're not yet subscribed, do hit that subscribe button because as soon as winter comes around and we get them hot tents back out, we are going to try different stuff in them. I've got some bigger hot tents now. One or two of them I am going to be giving away, but the ones that I've got, enough room to move around in. And that just means I can do more stuff. Maybe possibly have two stoves going in one of them. So I can probably like cook some meat here, prep some veg there. Just things like that really. Better than a hammock. <laughs> swing out that way. Alright, well, welcome back. Just thought I'd bring you back and share a couple of thoughts with you that I've uh, had as well. So, during the last couple of months I've had a lot of time to reflect on on, uh, on life in general, I suppose, really. And one of the things that I started to think about was the, the whole process of YouTube. And it started to become... I don't know. Like a chore, a task, you know, that you had to do it, I was chasing numbers and things like that and it was just, all got a little bit too much so the break from YouTube that I've had as well has done me the world of good, it sort of rekindled my uh, my passion for it and hopefully that's sort of coming across in the videos and you know I know it was a long process at the start, start like setting up and things like that but it's, uh, it's rekindled so it's my first one back. Uh, Two and a half months, I think it was, I've been missing. So it's been quite a long time, but yeah, I've had a lot of time to think about uh, where I want to go with channel and where I want to go in life and what I want to be doing. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll get going and get some more adventures under his belt. But yeah, I'd fallen out of love with like the whole process, you know, the, the filming, the recording, and and I want enjoying the filming. It were. It was weird. So I, obviously I've done a few camps with uh, cubs and scouts and and God knows what and sort of reignited my passion for camping. Uh, and now hopefully we've got the process sorted for filming again. So just not going to bat them out like I used to do. Um, yeah, I'll just do them at my own pace and, and keep it that way. So for now, I'll see you in a bit.
good night there with uh, Dan English Woodsman. Um, coming up midnight now, so it's time for me to hit the hay. So if you watched this far, thanks very much. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. I've slept like a log. <laughs> I've been absolutely toasty. I woke up at about five o'clock. That's a bit early. So I jumped back in for a couple of hours. Absolutely. Knocked out for a couple of hours. This quilt has been so warm. I mean, I've just got my uh, arms out now and I can really, really tell the difference. But yeah, so the rest of the video is just going to be me packing up. So I probably doubt you're going to watch that. So I'm going to end the video here. thanks for watching if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos like this and hopefully some more uh, further field adventures right. take care everyone see you soon